you know, once uh, the decision was made to go to Aiden, you, you never slumped body language wise. You come off the field after the team won as excited as anyone. How were you able to do that, man? And yeah, just go about your business that way. I, I I've been in some weird situations around uh, the NFL, so it's uh, I know it sounds cliche, but I'm really just about the team winning. Uh, I know. Everyone thinks that's just uh, tongue in cheek, whatever. But I really just uh, I care about winning, man. I love winning. Build relationships with these guys; they become like brothers to you. Uh, you start pulling for each other. I think that's a big part of this thing, and that's just who I am. So I'm not trying to change that anytime soon. Obviously, the season didn't go uh, the way you had planned or hoped for personally. Uh, but what are your reflections uh, of this season? I've been trying to think about it the last. 12 hours or so last night just sitting there with the brothers uh reminiscing you know it's when you're in the middle of it it's it's a whirlwind you can't really smell the roses too too long or you get caught up in it and uh, i don't know just reflecting built a lot of cool relationships this building uh the players obviously but just the people in this building it's a, it's a cool building good people to be around uh and that's the stuff you carry with you man uh that's the stuff you know you look back in the season and little moments here and there fun stuff and yeah, I loved it. It was it was a weird year. Don't get me wrong, but I loved every minute of it. <laughs> you said you said the other day, Jimmy, that don't you know you never know what the future is going to hold. But on a personal level, what do you want going forward at this point? Uh, I just want to get back to playing. Honestly, uh, that's why I play this game. Like I said before, I love to win. It's what I've honestly what I think I'm here for is just to go out there and get wins as a football player. Uh, I don't know. It's something that you got to embrace. Not not everyone wants that. Some people just want statistics and things like that. I really just want to go out there and win. I, I really enjoy doing it. It's, it's what we're here for. I know you're never going to use any excuses, but um, how good was the foot this year? And, and was it was a transition going into the season with the foot? Uh, it, it was tricky. It was, tra it, was diff it was different than uh, any injury I've had in the past. You don't realize, I mean, you're on your feet obviously all day and it's just a little thing that nags you. And so it was tough throughout training camp, I can't even lie, but we got to a good point where uh, you know, started and I even notice it really last couple months haven't even thought about it uh, rehab went well and finally feel like myself again so I, that's a, one positive to come out of this not going into rehab or surgery this off season. that's that's big time I was gonna say there I'm sure there is a silver lining that you're able to get healthy these last eight weeks oh yeah yeah the body uh, body's feeling great it really credit to the strength staff those guys really helped me out we got into a little different lifting program uh, just to key in the whole body and everything and I'm happy with where I'm at right now. How was the season different once AP took over as the interim coach? <laughs> From your point of view. We only got a little while. No, it was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was way different, man. AP, it's just, uh, I mean, whenever you bring in a new coach like that, the energy changes. I think guys bought in very quickly. AP, one thing I really appreciate about AP, he's a straight shooter, man. And that's, I think, guys in this locker room, that's all you really want in a head coach. Someone that's going to shoot you straight, tell you if you messed up or if you did right, and really not sugarcoat. And AP, he's... That's how he is. That's how he was from the get-go, and I think that's what guys really appreciated. He just kept it real, man. I, I loved everything about it. Jimmy, I know you said you want to get back to playing. Is that something you feel like you can do here, or would you think about doing it elsewhere? Uh, I'm pretty open. Uh, you know, a lot of things are out of my control. Uh, I've been in situations like that before, so players just got to roll with the punches a little bit, and uh, whatever happens, I think it all happens for a reason. You just got to make the best of your situation. That's a, that's a big part of this whole th NFL thing. Is you're gonna be dealt the cards you're dealt, and you just gotta make the best of it. What Jimmy. has it been like just kind of being in this organization and overall, like the facility as well, being so new and all, and playing in Las Vegas? And it's been top notch, honestly. Travel, where we stay, this building, like you said, everything's top notch. Uh, Mark didn't cut any corners, that's for sure. He, he he spent everything he needed to, and we appreciate him as players for that. You know, it's a, it's a little thing, but it goes a far way. Just uh, when the equipment staff, the strength staff are all working together, those little things add up throughout a long season. And Jimmy, what did you think of the job Aiden did and what kind of future he can have in the league, uh, you know, based on what you saw this year? It was impressive. Uh, I mean, just being a rookie quarterback in the NFL is being hard, it's hard enough to play, uh, let alone all the circumstances that were going on here. For him to deal with it, uh, he's a real level-headed kid. I think that's going to do him well in the future. He's got know who you are in this league and, and be you. And he did a good job of that this whole year. And he, he stayed true to himself. AP just told us a little while ago that you and, and Brian also helped coach him up and help him. What did that mean to you to be able to at least help him as well? It was a different role. Uh, I've never really done that before. But, you know, it's, I, I was a rookie quarterback one time in this league. And mm -hmm. I had guys help me out. Tom helped me out, uh, just older dudes in general. And felt uh, felt a responsibility, kind of. I don't know, it's kind of a quarterback thing. 
no one really sees the game as the quarterbacks do, so you got to help each other out a little bit and, you know, point them in the right direction. So try to do as much as I could. I don't know how much it helped, but. <laughs> <laughs> Competing against the ones of practice, did you see that potential on the defense from training camp to then once the season started that they could be a top 10 unit scoring wise? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, unfortunately, in training camp, they got, the, they got the better of us, I would say. But uh, yeah, that scheme, it's tough, man. I think PG does a great job of uh, scheming it up and guys bought into it. They got smart players over there, guys that can do different things. And then you got Max disrupting up front. It's, that's a hell of a combo. So yeah, I mean, we knew they were going to be doing good this year. I didn't know they were going to be that good, though. You said there's a lot out of your control in this offseason, but what's your level of confidence that you can play, play at a high level this league? Uh, where it's always been. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know who the player I am and where I stand in this league. I think that's a big part of the NFL. Uh, I mean, if you don't believe in yourself, no one will. So that's a big part of it. But um, yeah, I just let the chips fall where they may. Uh, I just got to get on the field and start competing again. That's when stuff gets easy. All good.